Okay guys, so we're having a pretty serious issue here with the Frankenstein and my new plow. I am killing the battery on this thing. Uh, I guess this is my first truck, first plow truck that's only had one battery. So I'm not real familiar with this problem. But um, what, what's happening is I'm running the truck, plowing with it, and then all of a sudden it's not running very good and I can smell like raw fuel coming out of the tailpipe. And I put it in neutral and rev it up for a while and uh, it'll straighten back out. But I believe I'm, I'm drawing the battery completely dead. Now I went and got an Optima yellow top to try to resolve this problem. And the, the, the Optima lasted longer, but it still did the same thing after so long. So I think I'm going to have to put a dual battery set up in this thing. And I got to do it quick. I got to uh, plow somebody out before 7 in the morning. I think it's around midnight right now. So I got to come up with something quick. Uh, the alternator I believe is fine the, the truck is is charging good it says it's over 14 volts so I think the alternators is, is fine now on these 99 trucks uh, the second battery would normally go uh, around there somewhere and I thought about making my own battery tray to set over there but I uh, midnight my O2 2500HD might have a factory tray in that spot with no battery in it. I was always going to put dual batteries in that thing, but I never did. So I'm going to go check that. Maybe I got a tray that I can put in here. I might take some of the braces too, but that's fine. Uh, I, can, I can order new stuff or whatever and we'll, we'll swap that out. But uh, the Optima, not a cheap battery. Uh, I believe I got uh, $300 in this thing. Uh, $20 discount. Uh, they did charge me a $20 core. I got to take in a battery get 20 bucks back But I'm gonna have to buy another one to give this a dual battery setup. So that's gonna be fun $600 in batteries Oh the joys of uh, Upgrading trucks But I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna check uh, midnight See if he's got a tray that'll work Okay, so it looks like it's not gonna work out as easy as I thought. Midnight doesn't have a battery tray. Um, the, he does have the brace that bolts to these bolts here. And then it bolts to the fender, but the fender looks like it goes higher than this fender. So I don't feel like it's, it's worth the time to take it out to try to put it in here. I'm just gonna start with scratch and uh, you know make something myself here. Uh, you know, hopefully it won't take that long. Good thing is, is I got a bunch of mounting points and there's even a stud here on this fender I can use. So I got a, quite a few mounting points here to get me started. I'll use the battery I got to try to copy that. So uh, good thing is, is I've done enough of these uh, plow trucks that I made these cables for a different truck and it looks like they're gonna work I'm gonna be able to just uh, bolt it to the battery here and connect it to the battery over there with these cables so at least I ain't got to make cables I guess so that's that's one good thing so I'm gonna get started here thinking and uh, cutting and making something well that's where it needs to be uh, it can't be too far this way because the hood springs got to go down in there. Uh, it probably could stand to come up a little bit, so we got to bring her up so it doesn't mess with uh, the AC hoses right there. But uh, it looks like it's going to work right there. I just got to get it up a little bit and you know make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so this is what I found. I actually found this piece of, of bent steel in our 
in our steel pile. Uh, it must have been for a different project, but uh, it's got the eight inches or whatever that I need or that I wanted inside here. So about eight inches, good enough for what what I need here. Uh, I've already got a little uh, support here made for it for a bolt that's in the fender. Uh, I had to do some notching and clearancing for the AC lines. Um, got it notched here for the bolt. I'm going to have another plate right here that's going to bolt up against the firewall. Um, I got, I'm waiting for it to cool right now. Then I'll uh, mock this up one more time. We'll tack it in. we we'll tack this plate on. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so there it is. Mocked up for another time here. Uh, you can see I got that plate back there holding it. Uh, I've got the, the one deal there and I added a brace for that. Uh, still feels a little weak on this side. I'm going to put the battery in there, see what it does. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to brace that. I don't have time right now. I'm going to set the battery up, make sure everything's fitting okay. Uh, then I'm going to mark for the hold downs that I'm going to put on here. And uh, we'll get them in there. Okay, so I had to put the camera down and uh, just get to work in there because I was running out of time. And I had to uh, get that driveway plowed so the person could go to work. But uh, I got everything installed. Uh, you can see I got the uh, Optima yellow top there. Got my battery cables installed. Uh, I got the hole down there. And then I also had to make a brace. You can kind of see it right, right there. It's just a square tubing that goes down to the shock mount and then bolts onto the tray right there because it was kind of wiggling a little bit right here on this side and with that big heavy Optima uh, it was probably just going to bend it with all the shaking. So it's solidly mounted. It's uh, bolted down with the hold downs. Uh, hinge clears it no problem. I did, I didn't show you in the video, but I made some some battery hold downs. You can see that where you slip the battery under it. I just used some, some small rod. And I think it should work for any battery of this size. But it's kind of made for the Optima because there's two separate ones, so it doesn't hit that that round deal on that. I guess you can, they have an adapter thing so you can adapt it to it, but it's really specifically made for the Optima. And I don't see using anything else. I got these now, so uh, it should be a good six years or so with these batteries. I don't see any, any issue with them. Got my cables. They're a little long here. Uh, the negative is actually longer than the positive. I don't know if that was a deal on my other plow truck that I had these on or what but uh, when I probably when I take the battery out and, and clean up the tray and paint it I'll probably snip the ends here and route them somewhere you know permanently and get them the right length uh, I just got some I got some wire loom here because they're on this deal here and I didn't want to chafe the wires but then they go down under the heater hose there and radiator hose and to the other battery. So one other thing about a dual battery setup is you're going to want to match the batteries. Uh, you're going to want the same size battery and also the same age battery. Uh, you don't want to have mismatched batteries in the system. You don't want a big one and a little one. Uh, generally you want to match them if you have a bad battery and a dual battery setup, it will drain the good battery. So having two batteries won't do you any good if you got one bad one in, in, the, in the deal. So always match your batteries when you run a dual battery setup. Okay, so I've connected these with, all I use is a bolt here and then a bigger nut. 
I've done this on quite a few plow setups. I probably should find something better, but it, it works. I mean, it really works. You can get the right length you need uh, by using a, a nut or washers or whatever. And like I said, it, it works. I, it's been proven. Now, how you hook these up is you're gonna go negative to negative, positive to positive on this. You don't, you don't wanna do anything else or you're gonna end up frying your your electrical system, you're gonna turn it into 24 volts or whatever. So you're going positive to positive, negative to negative. And that what that's doing is it's just giving you two batteries, dual batteries, dual 12 volt batteries in the system. So that's, yeah, don't do anything else but that. Also, I've got uh, an actual hold down for this. The original battery was smaller and it was just kind of flopping around in there. I've got the hold down on this thing now and it's it's actually holding the battery in place so I didn't flop it around so so I'm finished with this uh, dual battery setup here that's pretty much how I do it how I've done every plow truck I've ever had and I've already tested this thing I haven't tested it with the two Optimas I just got the new Optima but I tested it with uh, two batteries and I could not uh, get it to, to mess up so pretty sure that uh, that was the issue the, the system just needs two batteries you're not going to run a big plow on one battery so uh, pretty much if you're going to do a plow and set up for your truck uh, you better get a dual battery set up in there one thing I might do later on is upgrade this alternator I'm pretty sure that's the small one to the the, the the plow prep alternator which I believe is 130 amp and uh, we might do that eventually but so far I think this is gonna work out this is actually the setup I wanted to run on the dually I wanted to put dual Optima yellow tops in it I never did get around to doing it but I guess Frankenstein's got this setup now so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Got everything on by the sweat of my brow. From my four wheel drive to my cowboy boots. I owe it all to my blue collar roots. Feel like I'm working overtime.